Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, back at it again with another Halo Infinite discussion video. And today we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite Battle Royale. Now I could do this alone, but I've decided not to. So instead, I bought over a friend. His name is Javix. Javix, say hi. So. There he is. Alright, so we're going to be talking... The, the first topic we're going to talk about is the... Well, the, the tweet that kind of bought back this battle royale in Halo discussion because let's be honest this isn't the first time we we talked about this topic so uh, this uh influencer slash uh well a big name apparently I only know this guy from Call of Duty so and, and I know he streams like mainstream games like uh Fortnite Call of Duty Warzone and Apex <coughs> excuse me all of the mainstream titles so here's what he said I've played Halo since 2005 it's my favorite game series of all time. If Halo Infinite doesn't release with the robust and well-made Battle Royale game mode, then it will be one of the greatest gaming failures in history. Have a good day. I don't know. I think he's right to a degree where we've entered an era Battle Royale. And um, yeah, if this huge franchise doesn't launch with it, then... Um, yeah, it's a huge opportunity that they're going to miss out on. I think that's exactly the point. Like, it, it, it's a big, it's a big missed opportunity. But calling it the biggest gaming failures in history is, uh, I don't think, is a, is a bit much in my opinion. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It could be. It could be like a really huge, just missed opportunity that could, in the long run, it could have. You know, because if, if, if Halo eventually gets a Battle Royale and they look back, oh, we could have gotten infinite Battle Royale. Well, yeah, that could have been a huge failure. I mean, my thing on it is like, like, it doesn't need to be there day one. I don't like, would you mind it post launch? Yeah, yeah. Post launch would be acceptable, but, um, but you prefer a day one. It, I think uh, I would definitely prefer a day one. Yeah, I got no problem with the day one. I don't know. I, I got no problem with it either way. I mean, at the end of the day, it is an extra game mode for for the Halo franchise. So, there's that. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I got into uh, um, Call of Duty again is because of Warzone. So, if that's how I play, Call of Duty Warzone. And if they don't have it, then they could be missing out of a huge audience, you know, that's just into Battle Royales, but Halo theme. Yeah, a lot of the younglings out there into Battle Royales these days. And, uh... Exactly. Uh, there was also talks about, you know, how about giving, uh, like, Battle Royale-esque Forge, or, like, the tools to make Battle Royale into Forge in Halo Infinite, rather than being a dev made. What do you think about that? Honestly, that's great. If they would have offered battle royale and then said here try to make your own too and you know that could have promoted their own battle royale mode but saying you know make your own improve on it do whatever just like Halo 3 did you know having forge and um, it's just a map editor like here's our maps and if you don't like them then go edit them you know make them better yeah could have been akin to that there it's probably better to have a um, god damn it. Like, you could go both ways. Like, the dev map, like, I think maybe a good hybrid would be, like, developers make the map, like, a pre-made, like, landscape, huge-ass landscape that fits, that fits, like, 100 players or whatever, and then the Forge side of things will have the tools, like, oh, here's a random weapon spawn, here's uh, where the pelican drops, or, you know, any forge tool that that's required to make the, a battle royale game type i think 343 just maybe need just needs to, to provide the map yeah yeah like um forge world you know they provided this huge forge canvas and then people just you know uh took what they needed to make their awesome forge maps and yeah that's actually a really good point i was thinking uh, like since we were talking like since the battle royale topic came up i was like wouldn't this be a great opportunity to create a Forge World 2.0 and maybe even other sort of Forge Worlds, like at least three in the game, and make them like Battle Royale-esque, like different landscapes. Like you got the natural, 
and you got the desert, and then you got snow. You know, I think that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. Another thing they could do is have one map, and then just have, you know, this extreme freedom to change the styles however which way you would like, because instead of making three canvases, they could just put all that effort into one, and the tools needed to edit it. That, I think I'd actually like that too, or maybe they could do just another Forge, or like, you know, Forge World 2, and just ha have the editable, like, environment slash, like, weather effects. Yeah, yeah, just like in uh, Halo 5, like, if they just, um, you know, kept going... In oh yeah, like Halo 5, but like, then... twice as more advanced. <laughs> exactly, exactly, I think that's what it needs, because, like, this game is going to be, what, six years older than that one? Yeah, we're almost, yeah, about six years. Yeah, so, pretty crazy. Uh, if Halo Infinite were to have a Battle Royale, I'm, it, like, I think it's pretty clear as day it's not coming day one, but post-launch will be fine, like I said. Uh, how many players do you think you'd be happy with in a, in Halo, Halo Infinite's Battle Royale, if it were to come? Well... I'm really into Call of Duty Warzone. I think it has like around 150. Uh, I don't play the other Battle Royales, so I'm used to 150. So that's what I have to go with. 150? Yeah. Uh, in my yeah. opinion, I like Apex Legends. And that the number count on that game is 64 players. And I think 64 would be... I, I, I like that for Halo, personally. Yeah, I, honestly, I would be satisfied with that. You know, if they had a battle royale mode and it was only 64 then fuck it that's halo's way of doing things <laughs> that'd be awesome i personally like 64 just because i don't want a big ass map and like i don't i don't know like there there would be less randomness and like you'd have more control over the situ over your situation and also speaking of like players i mean imagine like maps too like they can copy what Call of Duty's doing. Like Call of Duty's maps have had, uh, you know, their their multiplayer maps in that one big open play space. Imagine Halo's take on that. Like, I can see like Valhalla, um, Lockout, and like maybe Blood Gulch in like the maps. Those are just a few examples. But they can basically add any multiplayer map and put it in that big ass map. Yeah, that'd be awesome. They would be like Easter eggs and like, yeah, it would just uh, appeal to classic Halo fans. I think. Uh, yeah. Now, the, there's also argument that, like, one, one of the reasons why people are against H Halo Battle Royale is because it, it's a, this is a very fair concern, is because they want to make sure the Halo experience, the core Halo experience, is there first, and, you know, add in Battle Royale later. Which is, uh, it's a fair point, and uh, I can empathize with that. Yeah, yeah. I could go both ways, honestly. Um, as long as they get there, I think people might be even be disappointed with that, that if they were split up, because that's how they were with Halo 5. Halo 5 was a very, uh, like, dry bones game, you know, which had solid multiplayer, but campaign was ass. attracted to Halo for, like, so many reasons, yeah, so. Uh, how would Halo Battle Royale be, like, different from other, like, Battle Royales? I mean, people already talked about dropping off, like, like ODST drop pods. That, that, that'd be like that. Uh, that'd be different. Besides, like driving a pelican. Which either way, I, I don't know. I wouldn't mind either way. Like how you drop into a battle royale in Halo. Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Cause that would make it very Halo esque, like and unique too. You know, which I think is what Halo should do. Um, you know, just to try to distinguish themselves from other modes or other games. So, but, uh, what Halo can learn from other battle royales? Do you think, uh, I don't think there's going to be weapon attachments tied to any of the weapons. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't think so, but I'm not even sure how they would even work. Like, could you imagine an assault rifle with, like, a red dot, silencer? Honestly, that sounds kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. I'm yeah, not, <laughs> it, it does sound, I'd, I'd love to custom, like, just pick up weapon attaches and attach them to my weapons. Yeah, you know, and then that could be totally extra from the uh, core multiplayer. Um, oh yeah, kind of like what they do with Halo Five. Like they had, they had these all these cool weapon attachments, and then it's like they gave them to us in Forge, and it's like here you go. Yeah, yeah, like just because 
it's not like tied to the lore or it's not uniform across the whole game doesn't mean you shouldn't include it you know because then that just gives people more reason to check out the different things that you have in halo infinite instead of just expecting the same thing in every game mode yeah that's what i think oh dude i just had a thought that reminds me it's like uh the, the last ash 343 question thingy they said like in multiplayer as of right now we can only hold one equipment but in the campaign you can hold multiple so and right now they yeah. said they said they were working in uh in custom games like they're gonna try working or like try getting yeah try getting working to hold multiple equipment in multiplayer just like in the campaign yeah that would be awesome because um the thing i love about custom games and forge is that those experiences are way different than what they can offer themselves in the core game. You know, like Halo Reach, all of those uh, Forge custom games, those weren't made by the developers, you know, but it's what makes Halo special is uh, the community and what they come up with. So, yeah, it would just be awesome to have that uh, freedom and just differentness in custom games and Forge. Oh, man. I think that's one thing we don't have to worry about with Halo Infinite is its forge. It's probably just just a monster compared to Halo Five. I can't. We are so far all we have. We all we know is and there's an undo and redo button, which is a godsend. Yeah, I know. I know. Do you have any idea of how many forgers, probably a lot, have made or added mistakes and they fucked up? But they can't. They can't. All they have is to like either exit out of the game if they didn't save and go back in, or they're just completely fucked. <laughs> exactly. That's happened to me so many times. Not being able to uh, redo, like accidentally deleting a piece, especially in Halo Reach, and having to, you know, do it again and it's not perfect or the way it was. And you're like, damn it. <laughs> yep. Can you imagine how uh, cosmetic unlocks would work into Halo Infinite's Battle Royale? Like, that. Especially with the coding system and uh, weapon codings, and I think they also they confirmed weapon charms too, from like Rainbow Six. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like, um, I'm just like I'm very like biased towards Halo Reach, um, and it's like everything. Um, but uh, going back to Halo Reach, like the the daily, the weekly, and the monthly challenges, you got those in Halo Infinite, uh, and completing those would unlock, you know, weapon skins and cosmetics and stuff. I think that'd be a great way because people are already familiar with that. And um, in Halo 3, you unlock achievements that way, um, or armor through achievements. But I think it's just, you know, the, the safe way of going about things, maybe, or familiar way. Uh, Halo Infinite with its Battle Royale, like, I can imagine, like, they, they could just easily, like, tie unlocks to that, like, for the commando rifle, you know, I don't know, get get 10 kills in the in the Halo Infinite Battle Royale in the you know in that mode and you get this awesome skin like that's actually uh one way they can uh encourage players to go play the Battle Royale probably the general public will go for that but it might be might incentivize us veterans to go play as well yeah de definitely and like any incentivization is good for like anyone because i think that's why you want to keep playing the game because you know um the incentives i i am an admin for that i am not playing halo much except mcc the only reason why i go to mcc is just to unlock cosmetics yeah literally and it, and then um if you had that then yeah it would just bring way more people to the game just because um you know having all this cool stuff to collect and the fun ways to unlock them Man, I, I, I'm just ready for, for Halo Infinite to come out, man. You, 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 do, do you know how long it's been since Halo 5? <laughs> Six years. Motherfucker. We, I, one friend is now, like, he was in high school with Halo 5, and now he he's in college. He grew facial hair. Another friend, he got married. <laughs> got, like, two different jobs. Oh, my God. I know, life is happening. Life is happening so fast. I need a new Halo game right now. Yeah, basically I've been just playing other things that aren't Halo. Although, I will be honest, I think it was yesterday when I was like, like just working on YouTube stuff. 
I suddenly got an urge to play Halo. Like, not not to go for anything. Like, I actually just genuinely wanted to play, like, Halo. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I went back, played, uh, the Reach, um, and seen what was new. And, um, I loved it. Like, it's, it's my favorite Halo game. I love playing Halo. I miss it. I just need a new Halo game. For real. Everybody can play. Did that... There's there's definitely people like me who just like don't get hype with screenshots or anything like we We just want the damn game already We want a game. We want to play something Yeah, but uh as far as any other topics regarding Halo Infinite's Battle Royale I mean, I don't mind post launch maybe within the first three months like what it comes out in November, right? So what maybe January ish of next of like 20 yeah yeah, like January it should it should come out a Halo Infinite Battle Royale, sixty four players. If they're not working on a Halo Battle Royale, they should be right this second with playable elites and dual wielding, and make it Halo fied. You know, take whatever their favorite <laughs> Battle Royale is right now and just Halo fy that to the max. Have everything Halo style, and have Halo things about it <laughs> just make it halo <laughs> dude i can easily see like i believe we talked about this once like for example like every every battle royale has like an armor system halo uh halo easily has an armor system called the overshield just make three different types of overshield 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 like the regular and overshield times two and overshield times three and just make them different colors yeah there's a shield system yeah they already have that yeah, like, I think that's also another thing people don't, uh, the people who are against Battle Royale, I'm not sure if they realize that, that Halo is a sandbox-driven game, like, with, at least with the original games, like, it, mm -hmm. the sandbox would just thrive in a Battle Royale setting. Now, at, at first I was against yeah. Battle Royale, too, like, I, like, until, like, I actually thought about this, I'm just like, yeah, you know what, Halo could work with Battle Royale. So, if you're against it, um, I don't blame you, but at the same time, I don't I think you should at least be open to it. Yeah, like, it's a no-brainer that Battle Royale would work with Halo. And, um, I think people don't want it because, um, it would just possibly not be Halo. And it would just, um, be too much not Halo. But, that's the thing. It's Battle Royale, but if they halo it to the max, then why wouldn't someone like it, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, don't know. It, 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 it depends. We'll, we'll see how it is when, 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 or even if we, it, it's, I don't know. I don't know if we, I don't know if it's definite. I don't know if we are getting one, but if there is one, yeah. I, of course I'm going to play it. And I hope it's good. And one of my theories was that, you know, look at Halo Infinite's campaign. You get to play through the entire Halo ring. I wouldn't be surprised if they took that entire campaign and that's your that that's the battle royale map. It's just a campaign, <laughs> like spaces. Yeah, that's th that's an easy way to do it. You know, they, they'll be they saving the resources there. too. Um, yeah, like that's such an easy way to do it. Just take the campaign map, reuse it. You know, um, yeah. you can come out with something later or not. Um, but playing with other people on the campaign map, it's just. Yeah, it's just oh. so much possibilities. Dude, that reminds me. Too. That, that, that reminds me, like, in, in Halo Reach with Firefight, and even ODST, like, the way how they did their Firefight modes, they just took campaign missions and just plopped them into Firefight and made a new mode. Yeah, like, even if they don't create another map and just um, take the kind of more simple, easy way out and just reusing the campaign map, people are still going to be happy with that. And um, it would only benefit the game because less developing time and yeah so you know what's a you know what's a small kind of harsh reality with halo infinite what's that in a way halo infinite while they are saying it's a soft reboot spiritual successor and whatnot it's also in another way uh, that halo infinite is also definitely going to try to be marketing the general audience slash mainstream audience i mean yeah if, if you think about it, I mean, look, look, I mean, the gameplay alone, I mean, look, they they didn't know which way to go with, like, enhanceability or even classic, so what they do, they kept Sprint, 
Um, they kept Clamber and they kept uh, Slide, but they got rid of everything else from Halo 5. And they bought back equipment from Halo 3. Which, at first I was I was against with all those enhanced ability stuff, but now I might be... I might be okay with it. Like, Halo Infinite is not going to be a bad game because of those things. It's just that, you know, I play the original trilogy, so I'm used to the old school stuff. But I'll be yeah. okay with... I'll be okay with... Uh, with the gameplay, like wh whatever. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, anyways, because I like the older stuff more. The closer you go back to that, I believe the better it will be, because it was already like this hugely successful game series, and um, just because it's years later doesn't mean going back to that is um, a bad thing, you know. Like it was already successful, you know. Stick to the the um, formula, you know, and then don't stray too far away from it. And I don't think Battle Royale would be doing that. I just think it would just be taking advantage of the successful formula that they already have set up. And um, yeah, like you said, the sandbox totally complement the Battle Royale. So. Yep. Uh, I think that's all the topics that I have for today. So uh, anyways, uh, for anyone who made it this far in this video, thank you very much. And uh, Javix, do you have any plugins that you'd like to share? I uh, make some music. Uh, check out my YouTube channel. Maybe Blazing can link it. I will definitely and, uh, link that in the description. Maybe, maybe I'll be back for more Halo videos. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, uh, who cool. knows? We, we will see. But uh, yeah, that, that's going to be it for this video. Um, next time, I will def there's the, I definitely have more Halo discussions. Slash, yeah, no, d d discussions in the works. And uh, I'll definitely release them when I can. So until until next time guys peace